Y'all, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. It is time. Bower Bully, that's funny. Bower Bully, amazing. For the epic best of three spouse showdown, Bower Mom versus Mrs. Tacos. Who Here is the best wife? Who's the best wife? Who is the best wife? The first game is going to be a color game. Both Bower Mom and Mrs. Tacos have constructed a team around a chosen color. And as far as I know, at this point, neither of them know what the other one selected. The second will be a theme game again. Neither one knows what the other one selected for their theme. And then the third game of the series is going to be a series 12 game. Just the normal standard tournament rules, too restricted. This is not going to be a best of three. This is going to be three games no matter what. One for the color game, one for the theme game, and one for the series 12. I'm going to be commentating with Adam San Tacos, Santos himself. We're gonna be doing live commentary over the over these games. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. You got there. So with that, I need to make sure that the audio is correct here. Here's the thing, Tim. The like people that pick teams don't know Pokemon. The people that pick so teams. So we are just going for funsies. For five, one, two, two, twice. We're gonna hit all the dudes. Yep. Oh, 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 no, just five, one, two, 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 Sweet. We yeah. love it. Yeah, we love thanks it. for having us tonight. We're very excited. Mrs. Taco's here. Excellent. Let me, let me go ahead and swap places with Bauer Mom so that way she can also listen in. So that way she can also listen More in. More importantly, so I can see. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Once again, my hair is insane. I'm really sorry. You should have picked a different background, Josh. <sighs> Mrs. Tacos, are you ready to lose? Thank you. That's not That's nice. Funny. I am I'm so excited. I'm ready to have a great game. Oh man, I'm so excited. Let's go. Hello, everybody. It's good to be here. Hey, we're uh, searching. We are searching, yes. I definitely should have said that before clicking the button. That is my <laughs> fault. An opposing trainer has been found. Time for battle. All right, so our first match will be the color theme match. But we are excited to see what Bower Mom has chosen for her color theme. And uh, we'll get ready and select it over here to get our two color themes going, to get our two teams going. A, um, Go let's use decide. Series 12 rules for all three games. Okay, perfect. We'll be using I series 12. Yeah. Oh, you, you can hear him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an absolute clown person. All right. Uh, let me... Do I have to go all the way there? Yeah, go to cool. series 12. Adam, right. can you say something again real quick? Yeah, we are here and we're ready. We're ready to select our team. Okay, cool. Sounds... Yeah, sounds sounds even. Sounds even. All right, participating team, you're going to click... Do you just want to, like, click the stuff for me so you don't have to talk that's, it through? That's true. I suppose yeah. I can do that. that okay. That's much better. All right, so uh, there we go. The color game is first. The color game is for- right, oh, You're spoiling, in, Joshua! Then. Come on! What are you thinking? Hold on, I need- right, So, Maradette, do you want to talk about the teams? Oh, we just ended communication. Sorry. Well, I, need a, I need a battle ready mark on one of my Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. All right, we're going to get a uh, Pokemon training stream now. <laughs> this is Pokemon training stream. Da 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 da. You know what? Now is a good time for me to double check and make sure. Actually, <laughs> I'm like 99% sure everybody's battle marked. But now is a good time for me to go double check that. Sure to reattach the moves. Yes, sure to reattach the moves. That's true. Um, should we should we discuss what colors we chose now? Sure. So we are. Oh no, we're gonna keep it secret. No, we're gonna keep it secret until team select. We actually did not hear what color was. Okay, said. sweet. Okay. Well then. So it is still a, it is still a mystery to us what color is being selected over on that side. Well, just you wait. Excellent. It wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be good for tension if there weren't <laughs> if there weren't some technical difficulties before we even get started here. Doodlebops, I don't want to hear it. You're voting for the wrong team. You don't get a vote. All right. 
So let me make sure the moves on Redacted are correct. <laughs> they are not tragic. Okay, sweet. We will be ready to start in approximately two oh, minutes. Oh, so she went She minutes. went with the color theme of her favorite Pokemon. I went oh. with Pokemon of my favorite color. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Yes. There you go. That's the way to do it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, honey, do you know any disparaging stories about me? Oh, I don't know. You said so many of them last month. Oh, excellent. I think we're I think we're running out. Um No, they are not the same. They're they're very different up smash. Actually, I don't know. I don't know that any of well no, I think like one or two of my like top ten favorite Pokemon are my favorite color. But most of them most of my favorite Pokemon are like grass types, so they're all like green. Fair, fair. Which is a fine. Bower Mom, can we hear your uh your your Pokemon history, your experience with the game in the series? Oh yes, okay. Mm. So let me tell you. Um I was a child of the nineties. Um, but I was a household of two girls. So my cousin played Pokemon when I was a kid. Um, and I did not. Literally not at all. When I was in high school, I was like a little emo kid that wore like Hot Topic Pikachu shirts and was like a total poser. Um, but upon meeting Bower Dad, uh, in the spring of 2015... We went on a, on a trip to Germany together, and he was playing through Omega Ruby. And he was playing through, he was crushing it, and he got super far, and he beat the game. And then I discovered that I could just fly anywhere and catch any Pokemon that he had never caught before. So I just cranked it out, caught everything, completed the Pokedex, was amazing, but never actually played the game, didn't understand anything about it. Um, and then... Like, shortly after that, it took me, like, probably five years to play through um, Pokemon Red because I started playing it, and I, as a person, do not strategize a ton for video games. I'm just playing to play. So I had my super strong Venusaur and literally nothing else, and I got to the Elite Four and got trashed. <laughs> and so I put the game down for a very, very, very long time. And then eventually I came back and I did complete it and I won the game. Um, and then like a couple months ago I played through Pokemon Moon. And that's literally all I've ever done. And in true Bower Dad fashion, I said two minutes and that was a lie. Yep. Adam, know, you were about you to say for something. That compelling history. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that compelling history, Bower Mom, of your Pokemon VGC experience. Uh, Mrs. Tacos, you now have 30 minutes for your complete battle. <laughs> <laughs> To battle, win or lose, I understand that. Um, and you have to choose them. So I tell my Pokemon that I choose them. Um, my experience is the Pokemon cartoon. Nibs, I got you. Mm -hmm. And we got the playing card game in early COVID, and everyone in my house beat me. <laughs> I mean, everyone, like the youngest kids, everyone beat me. That annoyed me enough to play the card game slightly better and to nerd out at a couple card shops to find better cards. You know, sometimes splurging for the whole 50 cent card instead of the 25 cent card, you know. Because it was the holographic. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, it was shiny. And my deck I like to play with was the fire deck, and sometimes I played the water type deck. Mm. But gaming, actual video game wise, um, I just hang out around tacos sometimes. And I've never put a Pokemon game on my Switch. I definitely haven't played through a game. I do know there are games that exist. Hmm. You are aware <laughs> of the Pokemon franchise, correct? I am aware. And I know Pikachu is not favorited by anyone. I know that. <laughs> and I know my favorite Pokemon, nobody likes. So there you go. I, I know enough to have a favorite. I've actually learned that people do like your favorite Pokemon. Her favorite Pokemon. Oh, shh. You, yeah, because yeah, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to spoil it. Come on. Gonna, I'm, I'm first, searching yeah. on the code yeah, again. Sorry. Tacos. All right. Are we, ready to, are we ready to link up? We're yes. ready to link up. Five, one, two, 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 All right. Two. We're doing the same code. We are running the link. All right. Here's to All hoping right. I don't. We got a BGC history lesson, and now we're ready to get it going again. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you, Santacos, for the helpful diversion while I make up for the fact that I'm bad at this. Make up for the fact <laughs> that I'm bad at this. That you've been playing too much Celeste. Playing too much? No, I haven't, I haven't played Celeste in... Uh, some time. All right. <laughs> I haven't played Celeste in some time. All right. We are about ready for the color game, the color theme game. Let's. All right, Baronet, why don't you introduce the teams here? You take game one here and talk about what we're seeing here in team preview. You got it. All right. Did Bauer you go Mom. With gray? What is your color, you cheater? Bauer Mom is. Br or, sorry, Mrs. Tacos appears to be bringing black. Appears to be bringing black. That's what it looks I feel like. like. One of us stuck to the rules, and one of us um, <laughs> just kind of did their own thing here. So, uh, uh, Mrs. Tacos, I keep wanting to say Adam. Mrs. Tacos opting for the black team: Galarian Moltres, Incineroar, Urshifu, Tapu mm -hmm. Bulu, Spectre, and Necrozma Dusk Mane, and Bower Mom bringing Zapdos, Reku, Cresselia, Ninetales, Mimikyu. And Ho Oh for her yellow team. I don't players, know which one I want. Players are on team All right, select. Interesting teams that we have over here. Um, looking at the two types. Looking at the two types. Uh, it, yeah, I, I see a lot of uh, dark colored Pokemon on the left side. And then um, we see oh. some a lot of gold over there on the, on the right side. Um, there appears to be two flying types. And we'll see who they choose to lead with first. I noticed the uh, restricted matchup, the uh, the Ho Oh versus the um, the Necrozma should be an interesting one. So here we get going. Uh, an amazing Lee card, by the way, here <laughs> on, um, on on uh, Adam's side. <laughs> yes, at, totally agree. An Adam's amazing, rocking an amazing out. Re, an amazing reimagining of the Adam on Tacos character on the Mrs. Taco side. <laughs> All right, so we got Ghost Pony and we have Urshifu here on turn one leading against Mimikyu and the Flying Bird Zapdos. Let's see, we okay. have a lot of pseudo legendary power on the board right here. Three <laughs> out of the four, Mimikyu being the only one who does not. There are lots of things that can happen here. A lot of firepower represented Excellent. on the board right Excellent. now. Excellent. I love all of this. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, so Mrs. Tacos talked to me about her preparation before the match. She knows that her her strategy here is to select super effective damage moves, and we see that first one come out here into Mimikyu, which will break its disguise. It'll absorb one blow, and that blow has been absorbed by the large shadow ball from Calyrex. Now we have Urshifu, and he appears to be punching this flying bird with some thirteen strikes, an effective move, I believe. That's going to do pretty good damage. It looks like the Zapdos will hang on just enough in order to launch its own <laughs> attack on this turn. <laughs> Bower Mom's side getting yeah, roughed up. Urshifu <laughs> takes that like a champ. Urshifu does th take that Rufoil like a champ. Brings Zapdos down to yeah, and then Mimikyu, okay, vanishing underneath the screen. And um, we'll see who he targets on the next turn. So he's going to be able to target one of those two. Uh, we can see in the turn order there we have uh, the ghost acting <laughs> first, then Urshifu, then the bird, then Mimikyu, and um, we'll see if Jessica continues or Mrs. Tacos continues with her um, super effective attack selection. Urshifu yes. with the Aqua Jet. That will hit Zapdos, a priority move going first. Knocks out the Zapdos. And we've drawn first blood. The first KO of the match. <laughs> yes. In this case, Mimikyu's slower speed. Under the ground and he will <laughs> stack the ghost back. <laughs> the score even now, one to one, both losing their first Pokemon, and we'll see who gets brought in the back on both sides here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh. Yes, trading blows, Mrs. Tacos bringing in Necrozma Dusk Main, another very strong this one it's actually so a, pretty. Yes, a restricted yes. legendary. Yeah. And Bower Mom. Legendary. Yes, bringing in the sun and, or sorry, bringing in the nine tails and setting the sun in order to give some more punch behind those fire type attacks. We'll see if that benefits Bower Mom or not. All right, and here on the third turn of the game, we see Mrs. Tacos going for the oh. Dynamax. Is it the Urshifu? 
Is it the large lion? We're not certain who's going to get Dynamax here. It is the Necrozma Duskmane. It is a large lion with a mask over its face. Let's see if Bower Mom is going to respond with a Dynamax of her own. No, she goes Flamethrower. That does a pretty good amount of damage into the Necrozma. Oh, but Shared activating the weakness up. policy. We get the weakness policy revealed on the Necrozma. Boosting the, the attack and special right. attack. <laughs> That's not a very effective move to, as the sun is doing half damage with that water type attack. Um, Mimikyu takes that really well. Mimikyu again goes under the ground. <laughs> Mimikyu too chunky. <laughs> we are curious if, if uh, Bower Mom has another move on that Mimikyu right now. It could be Choice Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> and that nine tails has a giant rock fall on its face. It somehow manages to live with one HP through the Focus Ash. The Focus <laughs> Ash is a very nice item for that nine tails, but unfortunately, the Sandstorm is going to finish it off anyway, sadly. And Mimikyu once again avoids <laughs> avoids any real consequences by <laughs> by stepping into the Shadow Mimikyu Realm. It very safe underneath the floor of the stadium right now. Uh, doing its best to avoid all damage taken. <laughs> and then finally, we have Bower Moms restricted the flying rainbow bird of Ho Ho. Ho 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 Ho. -oh. <laughs> and the. It's not Santa Claus. Wait, that's what I said. There we go. <laughs> and the shiny well, variant in order. Big bird Dynamax. Yes. And will Urshifu continue to click his favorite water type move? Or <laughs> will we see out of here? It's a valid remember, question, Santacos. It really is. <laughs> This is a favorite question. Will we see the Mimikyu Dynamax, or will it definitely be that big giant bird? We do not know. Um, clearly, Mimikyu's got it going. <laughs> Urshifu going away. Ooh, opting for Incineroar, the Incineroar switch. How could you? You know that Incineroar is so overplayed. I've heard you complain about this cat before, Mrs. Tacos. <laughs> you are a poser. Yeah. Switched out into her favorite cat. Um, it is apparent that she has at least watched one VGC match. <laughs> Something that took me months to realize in VGC that it is possible to switch your Pokemon as Tato has figured out very quickly here that Intimidate will drop the attack on the flying bird. <laughs> that is correct. Go Switches the are possible. Into that lion. That lion somehow takes that fire to the face extremely well. Changes the weather back to fire. Yes, now, Mrs. Taco is feeling the benefits of that Intimidate. That Phantom Force, um, Incineroar very much laughing at that damage there. <laughs> see a giant full spike into the birdie. What about a good 50% of damage? That, that was not very effective. It looked pretty darn effective. <laughs> <laughs> Do not I, want I would to see what effect it would have <laughs> I would have to agree. The Necrozma now boosting up its defenses with those max steel spikes. It looks like Bower Mom is in a little bit of a tough spot. Three to two, the Pokemon count. All four that are currently out are a little bit roughed up. Let's see if Ho Oh can make uh, some. Disagree. Mimikyu is uh, just. <laughs> Mimikyu's tearing it up. Living her best life. <laughs> Mimikyu's living her best life. Mimikyu with the play rough into the Incineroar. That does non-zero damage into the Incineroar. He technically did take damage from that attack. Um, ho -Oh eaten a giant almond on screen as he prepares to eat a giant ice cream rock sandwich. Uh, that unfortunately. Come on, Mimikyu! Um, this is not looking good for the Bower Mom side. Unfortunately, Charty Berry not near enough <laughs> to help Ho-Oh withstand that rock-type attack. Mimikyu. For that, I think if Ho-Oh had eaten three Charty Berries, that may have allowed him to live that attack, but I'm not certain the calcs on that. We'll need to refer to the damage calculator post-match to see how many Chitauri Berries have been to survive that attack. <laughs> and for the second time this I'm game... I'm so proud of that Mimikyu. I don't even yes. care. I am so proud. <laughs> that Mimikyu was a warrior out there, staying until the very final end, doing its non-zero attack damage, and Mrs. Tacos takes game one <laughs> in a very convincing fashion on the back of her scary lion wearing a Batman mask. No, right? you keep you your league card. <laughs> Bower Mom opting to not trade league cards with... With their opponent. 
Mini Q. All right, so we're going to move on to game two. Oh, and man. I'll introduce the team here first, Bauer Dad. I'm very curious to see the theme that's going to come out on the Bauer Mom side. Um, Mrs. Taco selecting I have to pick the, the theme, theme of, her of her favorite vacation spot. So, chat, is that Ooh. was your time to guess. The favorite vacation spot of the Tacos family is about to be revealed here on stream on the Mrs. Taco side. So did you do Hawaii so you did all Alolans? Mm -hmm. That's a strong guess. That's a strong guess. That's a strong guess. You are, we go, are go ahead and go down twice to here. let the battle begin. All right. Alex Keon12, thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy your time here. And now right. we have... And looking at the things here, it looks like we have a food themed on the Mrs. on the Bauer Mom side. Um, right. We have a fried chicken, an apple pie, <laughs> a milk producing cow, a pumpkin that you can also um, eat a delicious ice cream cone fantastic in the summertime and then a freezer box and then a over here box, on the yes. side, as you can see a beach theme of a half-bodied shark a crawl dad looking thing we have the alolan raichu on its famous surfboard we have a uh, favorite pelipper a starfish and then a giant sandcastle so that's what we're looking at here we have vacation versus food as the two themes tonight that's right, Adam. We are about ready. Players in their team select. It looks like both have chosen their Pokemon. It looks like a pretty well-rounded team from both sides. From both sides. I would agree, Bauer Dad. There's a it's a very well-rounded team. There's a sand castle there that is assisted by the shark. So if you are bored on the sand of playing with the castle, you're then <laughs> able to enjoy the fresh seawater with that shark. Um, we see another well-produced lead here of a fried chicken along with a pumpkin, which could make for a fantastic Thanksgiving meal if you have a turkey allergy. That is correct, Adam. <laughs> We're right, currently... So let's see how they lead off here. We have uh, Mrs. Tacos over here once again selecting to... opting to choose super effective damage on, on her side. <laughs> Bauer Mom going with the same strategy here. I can promise you there are super effective attacks coming in from both players. <laughs> <laughs> we see Blaze with the Flare Blitz into the um, Sandcastle, and that doesn't make much sense to me. I think a Sandcastle would do just fine in the sun, but it takes a lot of damage from that, Bauer Dad. That is true, but unfortunately, Blaziken does not live, is not going to live to see a second attack. The fried chicken has been dispatched of very quickly. The Gorgeist, however, is going to faithfully weather that earth power, and the power whip from the pumpkin is going to knock out the Crawdon. Why do you sound surprised? Because I've got my announcer voice. <laughs> Trading blows, it's one-to-one, -one, like we saw there in game one. Both sides losing a Pokemon there on the first turn. Um, well, can we? Should we expect to see a Dynamax here pretty soon from either side as the match now goes to three and three, both clicking super effective, both doing super effective damage? How about that, <laughs> Bowerdad? It's, it's definitely an exciting game. I hope the viewers are also enjoying it. Oh, it looks like Vanillix is coming in to put a damper on the vacation theme. We are bringing it to winter. We are skipping Gorgeist. We are going straight to cold. And it's something we wish in Bauer, Texas we had. Can I, can I get an amen? Is at a major disadvantage here, Bauer Dad, because this shark looks hungry. And he <laughs> looks like he would be very Guess much what? Able to I'm from Florida. I can and handle and a shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Mrs. Okay, Taco is going for a Dynamax. Florida theme. Florida theme. All right, so we're going to see a Dynamax over here. And it is going to be a giant shark looking hungry with its ferocious teeth. I think we'll be seeing a very, uh, a very satisfied ice cream delicious snack here <laughs> on this side. Oh, and no Dynamax. So, yeah, Ooh. that shark is going to eat the pumpkin, opting to go for the pumpkin first, which is a strong Ooh. choice. Uh, the the vanillas would make a delicious dessert. You definitely want to pick that up on the next turn. <laughs> and we see Gorgite go down. Bring in the Pokemon two. count two to three. Vanillux with the Blizzard will pick up the Palisand, so the Pokemon count will return two to two. We'll return two to two. Pretty even, Bower Mom still with a Dynamax to use. 
probably soon. Yeah, everyone's going to have to watch out for the shark now as it just got its ability speed boost, meaning um, Sharpedo should be the fastest Pokemon on the field. It should get its turn to select the first turn, but the snow Ooh. time is over. We are returning to summer with a Pelipper. We are. I didn't think we would see a weather war in a theme team, but yet here we are. This is something. But here we are. Yes, something you might expect from VGC. I didn't think I would see a Dynamax shark either on my screen tonight. This game definitely is showing us a lot of interesting, a lot of interesting plays, very exciting ones. But it looks like Bower Mom is pulling the trigger on her own Dynamax, two to two. One Dynamax to one Dynamax. It's going to be a nail biter. And it is going to be a giant apple pie in its G Max form. That looks delicious, Bower Dad. I would eat that with a lot of cinnamon on it, personally. <laughs> I too would have it with a yeah, lot of if cinnamon. You the fact and ice okay, cream. if you ignore the fact that Hello? there's a giant worm, it, it would be a delicious snack. Sharpedo going for Max Hail, but the Appleton holding on to Yachi Berry. Normally a double weakness to the Ice type, but the Yachi Berry is going to help that Appleton weather the attack just fine. And we'll see how the retaliation from Bower Mom looks this turn. All right, we see a giant Blizzard Pelipper going for the Hurricane, but it misses. Somehow it misses an attack there. We see a huge grass move coming out, and that shark is not going to be able that shark just got eaten by the apple is what i saw here <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately sharpedo is only going to get two snap no one that's snack. power dough in action Ooh, pelipper hanging on a little bit after the hail chip it is pelipper against the world much like Mimikyu <laughs> in the last game we'll see how this plays out for mrs tacos Pelipper, while having a very large mouth, unfortunately, probably not large <laughs> enough yeah. to consume the G-Max Appleton. I don't think so. Uh, Power Mom looking in strong control of this game. She would have to invent an amazing way to lose this by taking non damon G move, but we're not going to see that. She finishes off the match, and that ties up our series tonight one to one, in ex making for an exciting game three. I'm really, really hyped. <laughs> that is correct. More more than anything, now I think we, we just want to have a just a fun match, an exciting match. No one wants to see one side get completely dominated. It's always more yeah. fun when there's some back and forth, and it looks like that's the exact kind of game that we... Oh my gosh, I'm ding dong. What <coughs> did you do? Oh, we 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 have a we have a oh battle God. we have a battle ready incident again. <laughs> Joshua, we, we, oh no, do we have um, battle mark <sighs> issues again? We have battle mark issues again. One more. I would like to ask <laughs> if if just it's replace, a story. Power dad, power dad, what, just up? replace whatever Pokemon that was with a ditto. All right? I I will not be doing that. I will not be doing that. I appreciate. <sighs> okay. Oh, well, that's, I, that's I, I can speak over here for uh, from Mrs. Tacos. Um, looking at her preparation this week, she spent hours and hours on her Nintendo Switch this week playing Picross and Paper Mario. <laughs> so I know that there was a lot of time and care. And I also watched her select carefully select these teams that she chose tonight. Um, she spent literally minutes selecting this team. <laughs> one less than three. So I know that she is ready for this game three and whatever Power Mom throws at her, I know there's been a lot of careful preparation and thought put into this match about what she will be drinking afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, well said, Adam. Power Mom has been doing a similar level of prep, a similar level of prep judging by Pokemon that she thinks are the coolest. Pokemon that she thinks are the coolest. So she went down the list, checked it twice, and said, hey, I like these Pokemon. And I said, honey, do you want to know if they work well together? And she said, shut up. I'm going to go watch one of my shows. <laughs> yes. 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 Similarly, similarly, the discussion was made here tonight of, would you like to see how this team works? Or would you perhaps like to know what the names are of the six Pokemon that you've chosen? And Mrs. Taco's solution was very simple, was a very simple answer of no, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> 
free slice. Let's hear from the battlers instead, Bauer Dad. And let's go to Mrs. Tacos Live. What is your what was your um what were your thoughts there on that game one victory, Mrs. Tacos, in the dark type match? We saw the uh, the giant lion really take over the match there. Your thoughts. But I, it was my Incineroar team, so I wanted him to do well. I was I was very excited about game one, but I'm completely okay that a sandcastle lost game two. That's <laughs> that, that that on vacation I'm not trying real hard to flex either, so <laughs> it works. <laughs> Barbara, mom, your thoughts on on game two? That is, a, what was the moment that you knew you were going to win that match? Um, when I put Appleton on my team. Giant apple pies are a favorite here at the Tacos House. <laughs> I would say they're maybe second. Yeah, we've we had them yesterday. So big fan of the taco <laughs> team of the of the taco family here, apple pies. So nice selection there. Thank you. Thank you. We have a live team building stream going on with uh, Bauer Dad right now. <laughs> you can't see what's going on, but I, I, I'm glancing over my shoulder on the tiny cell phone stream to see that we are at the Poke Center. Indeed, we are at the Poke Center, and we will be ready actually in one minute. I know last time I said we'd be ready in two minutes, and that was actually very, very dishonest. This time it is not. I will be searching in approximately one minute. I'll be searching in approximately one minute. Right, we'll this go ahead is... and start the uh, link code. That would that would be that would be wise to go ahead and start the link code. I don't know if it's wise to trust me. However, I promise you that I'm trustworthy this time. Not every time, but this time. All right, we're gonna move this in to the VGC 2022 team. Boop boop boop. And we are gonna start our search here in just a moment. Just a moment. We're gonna do link battle. We're gonna go to here. We're gonna do our well, five I'm one. Really what our mom's gonna bring i know mrs tacos um she she definitely leaned towards pokemon that she's seen in action for her team tonight um the the i i think the six pokemon on her side will surprise no one who's ever seen me play pokemon vgc before so maybe not the most um inspired or creative team building from the mrs taco side as she said hurry up i just want to pick these six pokemon and be done with it <laughs> um so i'm very curious if we'll see a similar theme on Bower Mom's team tonight. Absolutely Meaning, not. I'm expecting trick room. Josh didn't own these Pokemon before. He's ne <laughs> no. There will be no trick room tonight. <laughs> no. We are we are going for cool Pokemon, fast Pokemon, and we are just gonna play hard. Brecky Wash one two three four. Hello and welcome. Interrupting to interact with my chat. My bad. Uh, yes, Bauer Mom had a couple of favorites from her Sun and Moon playthrough, and I had to crush her spirit and let her know that there are some that are not Super there. Super Mokohita! Oh, Mokohita. he's so big! Love it. Love it. it will not work on this team. <laughs> it will not. But we're about to see the interpretation of our respective spouses for VGC 22. <laughs> All right, we've got, we've got, we've got something. We've what got something here on both of these. Uh, Mrs. It. So both, both players opting with the bat, the top slot of their team. We see the team captain, the bat. I see, I see a familiar favorite on the side of Mrs. Bauer Mom there, the spider with the knee pads, as identified by Mrs. Tacos earlier on. <laughs> Yes, a rock <laughs> helmet. helmet. Yes, a rock grenade, definitely a favorite in the Bauer household. This is actually and this is actually an Araquanid that I Sweet used card. for the Monotype Draft League. This Araquanid hails from gosh, a year and a half ago. Was and has never been touched up. since. Well, notably, this Araquanid did help me defeat my electric type opponent in that week. A very impressive showing from Araquanid. But Enough about Araquanid's history, let's get into the current game. Very familiar lead here, we see Lunala with Incineroar putting the Intimidate down on that water spider. He's definitely going to be afraid of that spider. Um, I, I think all cats are afraid of, of uh, spiders, so probably not something she's going to want to go with here tonight. And um, yeah, I'm curious to see what the Maw Wild knows how to do. Very fair, yes. Cats do not like water or spiders, so Incineroar may be feeling the pressure, but yes, we will see what Mawile does, other than the fact that it's not a spider. Mawile actually also looking very intimidating, and Incineroar does bow out. 
Interesting. For the Zacian, one of the flagship Pokemon of the Sword and Shield series, immediately getting an attack boost when it jumps in. Yes, I understand that uh, Zacian is a rare favorite among VGC players, not commonly seen on, on almost 10% of teams. So it's a very unique Pokemon to this to this matchup here tonight. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You got you got to applaud the creativity here from Mrs. Tacos. Hold on, Araquanid. Araquanid holding on, but barely. Holding on, but barely. It's fine. And we see the leech life come out, and those are giant teeth that just attacked that dog. Don't know what I'm quite seeing here tonight. Well, it was supposed to attack the cat tacos. <laughs> Jeez. Once again, this is Mrs. One with unfamiliar strategy to most VGC players, <laughs> also called switching out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bauer Mom opting more to stand her ground mm -hmm. and getting tripped up a little bit by the switches, Never. but the game is Never. still in its early stages. We'll see how it shapes up. All right, we'll see what happens here on turn two. Mrs. Tacos have in great position with two. Uh, oh, and she's. We're gonna see a Dynamax here on screen. Will it be the Dynamax Zacian? Has she hacked the game and allowed herself? No, it's okay. Ah, okay, <laughs> uh, but Luma, Luma is so much better. It is Good. indeed. Mrs. Get, Tacos get, is yeah, not a is. cheater. <laughs> it is a fantastic beast. I know where to find it. It's right here on the stream. It is. It'd be very hard to miss it. It'd be very hard to miss it. All right, Zashin connects with the play rough. Araquanid, unfortunately, going down. And Lunala is going to hit with the max Phantasm. Can Mawile withstand it? That is a lot of household <laughs> items and tea kettles attacking that small Pokemon. I don't know why it's choosing to, uh, to use household items in that attack, but it seemed very effective. It Maybe most not certainly super did. effective, our dad, but just, you know, pretty effective. Mostly effective. I press that is, you, you do press swap. Okay, yeah, that was so weird. <laughs> a slight, a slight <laughs> technical difficulty. <laughs> but yes, right, Bauer Mom bringing her last Shasta, two. The opposing bat. The opposing bat. Now I, I'm gonna have to like uh, pause stream for a minute, and we're not pause stream, but I'm gonna have to get Mrs. Taco's thoughts on this giant bat. Um, you have not, I don't believe you've seen this bat here, this Necrozma bat. Your thoughts on the design and possibly backstory of this large bat. Bat doesn't bother me. The cat had an affair with the seal to make that other Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Minshaw Slander here on the Bower Dad stream. You heard it here. We hate Minshaw. <laughs> Well, in all fairness, that Minshaw should have been Hariyama, or as Bauer Mom most affectionately calls it, Super Makuhita, a beloved Pokemon, unfortunately not in Sword and Shield. Mrs. Tacos continuing to click oh my God. super effective moves. That one goes into the Minshaw. It lives on a Focus Ash. That will give Minshaw time to issue a counterattack, doing some decent damage to the Zacian. And I think as which bat goes right first? Is going to be very important. Right, oh, the opposing so Lunala. Large once again. Oh my God! And, um, we did not get to see. Uh, <laughs> I literally did not, not see any of this coming. Of screen time. <laughs> not much screen time for the new crowd, but, uh, <laughs> see it grow big. And Give me my edibles team again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Minsha. But listen, why would you already say I lost? Okay, some. Miracles happen! <laughs> no, I... Oh, no, I, I know, I know. I have one health on one boat. I understand. No, that's not what I was no, going to say. Mom, as we say, I, as I have embroidered on a pillow in my household, your opponent can always click non-damaging moves. It's a common uh, refrain we have here. There's in one right now. There's pretend. <laughs> There's another one right now. Always or, believe in the potential. Or they can rage quit. Not attack, Power Mom. There's always a strong potential that your opponent could click non-damaging moves. Oh Tattooed right on my chest, spoken by a VGC philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> it's words true in near and dear. And we'll oh see how this match goodness. finishes up. It's Mean Shao versus, um, versus uh, the four Pokemon in front of him. Uh, <laughs> everyone in the stadium is against him. Oof. And he, we, will, we will not get to see him move again. I was so proud of this team. <laughs> <laughs> I did put thought into it. <laughs> Unfortunately, Unfortunately, opting with, um, 
you know, the very top team on the VGC paste website. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's all I can You did pick those things. You did pick those things. I didn't even let tacos help. That's true. Those things were. <laughs> he offered to help, and I said no. And then I did ask him if they were any good, and he said, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Is it any coincidence that her six favorite Pokemon happened to be six great Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Bower Dad. But coincidence, I'm not certain, but but her favorite Pokemon are the Pokemon with the 80% usage, and it paid off well for her tonight in a dominating 4-0 victory there in Game it, 3. It certainly did. I think it was a a retribution for me saying, hey, it's really great that these games haven't been one-sided. And then, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Game 3 was a landslide loss for Bower Mom, but overall, the series was, in fact, very awesome, very fun. GG, Mrs. Tacos. What I, I just, I, I, GG's, and, GG's as well. Your commentary was outstanding, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, what do we do now? I want to come back out. Do what, Mrs. Tacos? Our dad, do we have time for do we have time for one more encore match of the of of the food themes? Of the, uh, of the food theme. She wants to three o me. She wants. She's to gonna me. take and she's gonna she's gonna see what she learned. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. It's fine. All right. We're, we're gonna we're, do one more encore match. We're gonna do it encore. We're gonna do one more theme. One more from the theme <laughs> game. All right. We will go for the theme game. Mrs. Tacos very upset, very just <laughs> distraught over here that she did not get that victory <laughs> in the food theme match. So <laughs> we will link up one more time so she can have that victory. All right. Notably, if if Mrs. Tacos does not get the victory this time, I'm changing all of my indicators to W. So this, <laughs> <laughs> it will be the, the moral the moral victory will be the 2-0 for the food team. The edibles team. Yeah, yeah, th this match counts. This match counts for them all right here. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Josh, can you change this god awful background? I've been requested to change the and I quote god awful <laughs> background. Give me oh. <laughs> You're attacking me. I'm not attacking. <laughs> All right, so we are momentarily going to change the Oh, wait, you mean you mean yours? Yes. Uh, oh, no, I got rid of that. I didn't want people changing the background on you to distract you, so get wrecked. That's my oh, bad. Oh, man. Wow, honey. I thought you meant the... the ah, background. stop! You stop. <laughs> okay, so we're here looking at uh, game two of the theme match. Okay. Um, Mrs. Talk is thinking about the adjustments that she may need to make in this match, about who was effective, who was not effective. Yes, that is that is most most notable in here in the second game between these two teams is because it was not originally a best of three there were there are four pokemon that just never got seen and now that we have the chance to run it back we'll see if there are any adjustments from our players we're gonna fade to black all right so we're gonna see here in the rematch we see a milk tank a giant cow and an ice cream cone again once again we have the sharpedo and the starfish all right, and Sharpedo. Oh. Yep, Sharpedo looking to see if maybe it can take a few more bites out of the competition this time. Starmie and Miltank both new. Both new here for our respective players. Let's see how. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how the adjustments prevail. All right, so we're here on turn one here. Let's see. Um, oh, we see a defensive counter move out of the Bower Mom side, and we now have a, a rarely see a refrigerator. That's right, Rotom refrigerator. And we finally, I don't know how this is managed, Bower Dad, but we have our first turn one Dynamax of the night. We have not seen that all night. That is a very good point. Our, this this match is full of first. It's Bower Mom's first hard switch. It's the first turn one and Dynamax that, that we've seen. We have. New Pokemon from both sides. This match is definitely starting very different. Oh my goodness, it's an ally switch! Finding the ally switch button. 
um, a, a very revered and highly respected move in the BGC community that, that will change the position of the two of the two Pokemon. Um, Sharpedo with a large Max Geyser. I believe that's not very effective, but it sure also looked very effective. The uh, on, Ice Electric, the Max Geyser dealing normal damage, but Rotom is going to okay. heal back some of it with the Citrus Berry, not enough to withstand another Geyser, but maybe enough to withstand something else. Players will go back and select more moves. And we'll see how our next turn plays out. Very dynamic turn one. Very dynamic turn one. Yeah, so we see Sharpedo with the speed boost. It should be acting first here. So Battle Bomb needs to be aware of that. Do we, we do not see another defensive switch. Sharpedo going for another Max Geyser, finding its Ooh. favorite button. Ooh. And not quite KOing. Milk Take living that attack. Darmy following up with the Hydro Pump to two back-to-back -back water shots. And I don't know if it'll live. Ooh. It does not. The fridge goes down, but really Miltank will be able to get one move. And huge oh, damage yeah, from that. Yeah, yeah. Good, Good job, Miltank. <laughs> Miltank hanging on by a thread and Sharpedo. I have, I have never seen a cow do that much damage to a shark, and I have seen that battle played out. <laughs> YouTube is a strange place, Adam. <laughs> it is a very strange place. All right, squared Let's up. Let's find out four. what happens here on the next turn. Um, I'm very curious. We have yet to see the Dynamax. That is true. Bower Mom debating her move. Down one Pokemon, but yet to use her Dynamax. Oh, until right now. Is it going to be the 5 HP Mill Tank, or will she be opting for a repeat performance, bringing back Please the giant apple pie? <laughs> <laughs> the apple pie? Much too. Apple Pie had a very <laughs> game one here. Bower Mom trying to repeat her success with that very happy looking worm in the giant apple. <laughs> I feel this time electing to avoid the ice, going for the max darkness damage. Ooh, and Appleton taking it quite convincingly, but will sustain a special defense drop. So whatever Starmie does is going to connect with a little bit more damage. Ooh, it's a flip turn, a move allowing Mrs. Tacos to swap in a new Pokemon in place of the Starmie for free. <laughs> I didn't know that's what that did! Exactly the point! <laughs> it's it's surprising to the commentators, it's, it's surprising to the players! Very, very strong pivot move, flip turn. I just like doing them when I'm swimming laps. It's true, Mrs. Taco is very effective at, at, at the flip turn move when swimming laps. I, I've seen it in action, it's a very, very effective move for her. <laughs> and Raichu taking a good chunk of damage from that G-Max sweetness. Sharpedo will get another speed boost, so it is faster than absolutely everything in the whole wide world. And we're going to see Bower Mom's Vanillux come back. We're going to see Bower Mom's Vanillux come back for another turn. Sharpedo's Dynamax right, is over, notably. Right, we have, I believe, one more turn from the Appleton. Bower Mom down to her last two. Mrs. Tacos with a full stock of Pokemon, but two are at low health right now. Let's see what she decides here. The shark still doing um, great damage here. Very it's, true. It's attack, um, it is speed boosted and now three or four times. So it's going to be moving first here. And we're going to see how uh, Bower Mom prepares to take this incoming attack. Raichu switching out, changing its mind. And we're going to... Oh, and never mind, we Kordon. have a total purpose. We have a total purposeful switch here. Seeing the Crawdad come out. Indeed, Vanillux going for the Blizzard. This should be enough to take out the Sharpedo, and Crawdont takes a huge amount of damage thanks to that critical hit, and then Crawdont is left standing alone to take the G-Max Sweetness, which will probably be the end for Crawdont. And we're getting down to the wire here, 2-2, two to two, and both of these, and the Dynamax should be over for Bower Mom now. Yes, a huge swing turn for Bower Mom, but now both Dynamaxes are over, and the Pokemon count has gone from 4-2 two to 2-2. Two, two. Very interesting to see how they how the how the two trainers uh, finish out this match. We see a Raichu and a full health Starmie. Oh, the Appleton does have one more oh. turn of Dynamax, and it's gonna really want to effectively use that move. Ah! 
<laughs> Darum, I'm struggling with the mood choices a little bit, but that is the nature of VGC. Let's see how it goes. Now that Sharpedo is off the field, the turn order Starry is a little bit. better take some freaking damage this time. <laughs> Is a little bit yeah, more up in the air. Can take the damage here. Starmie with the hydro pump. That is going to connect. Oh, that does a lot more than I expected there, Bowerdad. Certainly does. Oh, and the Raichu with, with, with the nuzzle. nuzzle. Ooh, the Vanillux will get paralyzed. Will <gasps> it be able? It's paralyzed. Vanillux losing this its turn. Apple's attacking Bower Mom with the full paralysis here. Appleton should be able to pick up this Starmie, I believe, though. Most likely, unless no, there is there no focus sash on the Starmie, so that will go down. Vanillux cured of paralysis. Yeah, she is. And no, oh, it's the effect of GMAX no. sweetness. Oh, I didn't even know GMAX sweetness uh, cures all status conditions on the field. I literally did not know this either. I told you that's why he's on my team. He will make me win. <laughs> <laughs> Bower Mom having unending faith in her team. The Pokemon count is two to one. However, notably, the the Raichu I think is fastest. Raichu going for another Nuzzle, not doing enough damage. But I don't think. Oh, oh the, the Blizzard, Blizzard is that still going to connect. Answer. Down to the wire, but Bower Mom clinches the victory again with the, the Edibles team over the vacation team. We both won two and lost two. Good job. I'm proud of us. He's on both sides. Yes, we, we end with a two to two draw. Great battles out of everybody. Bower Mom maintaining her title as the team <laughs> champion. <laughs> Indeed, what a great series. What a great series. Any uh let's let's go. Let's go to our battlers. Any any comments? Any comments from Bauer Mom here? Closing thoughts. Um, I would just like to thank the Appleton. Um <laughs> I enjoy baking quite a lot. Um actual baking, not not edible baking. Um if you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really proud of that team. That was my favorite team that I was the most excited to put together that I thought was just really, really enjoyable to play with. So it's uh, it's extra good to me that that was the team that was successful. Fantastic. Mrs. Tacos? Your, your, oh. your closing thoughts. Do it again. I don't, <laughs> I thought it was really fun. I liked playing. I liked getting beaten up by the apple pie. Now I want to know if you have a good apple pie recipe because I go do. Head head she does. I do. We'll send it to you. Yes. Do as well over here. Uh, recipe swap. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. But but a critical question: Do you make your own pie crust? Um. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But I'll tell you, the trick: get store bought crust, whatever. But do a cast iron pan, and before you do anything. Melt a whole stick of butter and add like three quarters cup of brown sugar to the pan. Put it in the oven to melt it all and like caramelize it. And then build your pie on top of that. Any recipe that will just make it incredible. This is free cooking advice for the Bower Dad subscribers here. We have a <laughs> screen coming up. Absolutely. Okay, One of the well, many I've... perks of tuning in. That's pretty cool. When I do my pie crust, I put cinnamon in the crust. Incredible. Okay, also, oh, for go. pizza crust, put seasoning in the crust as well. So we much that, better. Yeah. Yes. It's so much better. See, this is what we could be talking about. <laughs> no, I had a lot of fun. Um, thanks for being crazy and doing three different teams. <laughs> I just was having a, so much fun looking through the Pokédex, and I, I like that you were a gamer for it. So thank you so much for playing with me tonight. Thank you. It was a ton of fun. I also was really looking forward to it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, feel a little bit, a little salty that I got so demolished with my last team. <laughs> but really proud of how we both played. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, great set, guys. Uh, yeah, Bower Dad, thanks for letting me on commentate. Yeah, right. You, have a great you did a great thanks job. That was it was so good. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great night. Appreciate it. You too, you too.